Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Nest.js. Today we are going to learn about the how to update the profile. Previously we have already logged in. Now with the help of the SS token, we are going to update the profile. So let's have a look on that one. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here you can see that we will go with the update profile, right? So in which data it is. So let's go and check the profile update that is in the users folder profile update, right? So let's go to that one. So auth close. So let's go to the users. We have a profile. We will check this one profile update. So here you can see that the post profile update role guard that is the user rose card. You can see that because now we are going to authenticate that one okay so here you can see that the, if the has permission then true required params dot email body email okay that is important otherwise if i'm not sending the email okay so it will not validating that one okay and it reject that one okay so this is the role guard that we have created to authenticate each and every user okay so let's go and check this one profile update okay update profile service we are using so what the data we are ac accepting word wrap so here first we are checking the email so email is important right if i go and check this one here we have updating the profile so this is reset password this is email this is profile update so we have to update the token also so here you need to check the token otherwise if i go and check this one okay this token time is like it will take so i will use my token to update the particular user of that one okay so here we have to go to the authorization we here we have to add the token okay and if i go and send this one users profile 403 okay in the body because here we have the 905 now you can see that the data is returns because 404 because you can see that if the email is not correct then what happened if the user from db okay so here we have the check that the user is not db then common user not from http staples not found okay then we will check the name, surname, phone and birth date if it is there and the profile picture is there. Then we are going to, uh, this is the like uh, uploading the image in the format of the base 64, right? So we can update that one also profile picture if you want like avatar image if you have in the react app or something we are going to use. So here we are just sending the base 64 image format to update the profile. Okay, if it is success, then we will do the we will saving that profile in the public users. Okay, and maintaining this one and updating the data of that one. So let's have a look on that. Uh, it is updating or not. So we go and check this one. So here I'm just e updating my email to one, two, three, four and update this one. So here you can see that we have four, four. If I go to the database also, so users and here we have the four for four details if i can we can let's add the profile pic also okay so any any base 64 image base 64 image url so convert any image to the base 64 they have okay so here we can choose any of the file so here i can choose any of the image and it will return me the base 64 so this is base 64 that i am going to use so let's add the profile picture or something it is add it what the codes are there already I think we have to add the base 64 data dot image 
data dot image of this one this is already added okay so the path is where is the path so this is profile picture right so we will use this profile picture file ETO what it says let's check in the DB what's the name of that one that this we haven't added now so let's check this user schema schema we have the photos profile picture so let's add this one birth date is there profile photos I think it's profile picture let's check this one profile picture so I'm going to add it over here so here we have the profile picture right what's missing the comma so let's send this one what error is showing me so here we have so make directory profile update error public users make directory public users so it's not there I guess so we have to check this one public users is there or not So source common users so I think we have to create the public users public users here the source we will create here public then in publics we will create the users okay let's see is it creating or right now or not file update error make directory in our public users this one A profile pick url public users this email and profile.png okay so directory would be public users plus so user db dot email so this should be there if I just added like the test one this one so that means maybe adding the profile but it's not true or maybe don't have the permissions of that one okay so profile image uh, maybe maybe the directory issue is there because um, I need to give the permissions to that directory I think okay so this is the profile picture updating just you need to add the base 64 image so it automatically write that file in the public users and it whatever the profile pic you have uploaded it will going to over here right with the name so, okay so you can check any of the phone number birth date I haven't added the birth date also so we can also update the birth date and just remove this one And here I can just add the birth date that should be a date format so I will add okay so let's have a look is the birth date is updated or not success and let's have a look of the birth date is there right you can just format the date string also on the note so this is how we are able to update the profile okay very easy so you have to uh, whatever, whatever the token we have generated in the last we have to use that one while updating the profile okay so in the next video we are going to learn about the forgot password okay so thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day